Hi friends! I'm here in my kitchen today and I just wanted to briefly show you how to wash your hand spun. A lot of us forget that after we spin it, um, it's still not finished. To really finish your hand spun, you need to wash it. And the washing process takes out any of the extra oils that you may have gotten on there from the spinning wheel, the grease from your hands, um, the sweat from your hands if you did it in a warm month. Um, it also helps to act fully relax the fiber and set the twist. So it's really not ready to use until you have finished the washing, washing process. So I just wanted to share that with you. I know we have a lot of new spinners. There's a lot of new spinners in our a Knitter's Life Ravelry group over on the Ravelry boards. And I just wanted to share how I do it. Um, you can do this in your sink. I use a bowl because I have a busy household and our sink is often busy or going to be busy. Um, so I do it in bowls and set it aside because, um, well, I'll show you. Another, uh, the soap that I like to use is Eucalyn. Eucalyn is a very nice, gentle um, soap that you don't have to rinse, which is really nice. You can, especially if your wool is super dirty, you can rinse it, but you don't have to. And um, one of the reasons why you may not want to is because it has a little bit of lanolin in it, which puts some of that good oil back into your fiber and helps the, the wool to do what it's supposed to do, which is keep you warm and wick moisture away from your body. And the lanolin helps the wool to, to do that. So it's really good to put that natural oil back into the wool. So that's the reason why I always like to use eucalyn. And eucalyn has a lot of fun scents out. Uh, when I first started knitting, I think there was just the original scent and that was it. I could be wrong. Maybe that was all that my shop carried, but I only remember the original plain scent and um, that was it. So and then I think they came out with lavender soon after, which was really nice. But now they have eucalyptus with eucalyptus oil, which eucalyptus is really nice because um, it's one of those oils that uh, ward off bugs um, and moths so this is a really good scent to use especially if you're going to be storing them for a long period of time they have lavender they have this new jasmine scent which is very floral and pretty and then this is a grapefruit which is just a really clean scent and then of course they have the original and unscented one um, so what I do is I start with a bowl and then I pour in hot water now this is just hot water um, out of my tap. It's not boiling. It's not super hot. I, you know, I can hold my hand in the water for a long period of time and not be uncomfortable. It's not cool water either. Um, you really do want to use warm water or hot water because it it's going to help get that dirt out and get the um, spinning wheel oils and the oils from your hands out of the wool. It's also going to really help set the twist. I'm going to be using the eucalyptus oil because I, uh, the soap with eucalyptus oil, because I'm going to be storing my yarn. I'm not going to be using it right away. And I just add, measure out a little capful into this, the top of the cap. And then I just swish the cap in the water to get it all out. And, oh, it smells so nice. Then I just gently lay my fiber, my wool, sorry, my, <laughs> my spun, hand spun on top of the water and let it just soak in. And it's going to take quite a few minutes to just soak in. One of the reasons why I don't want to um, really push it in, I really want the fiber to soak up all the water and I don't want to agitate the wool because I don't want to felt it. I don't want to have a felted product. You will not damage your wool if you use hot water and soap. Um, you won't felt it. You have to have three things for felting. You have to have the soap, you have to have the hot water, and you have to have agitation. So as long as you don't agitate it, you're fine. You can even use your hands and dunk this under the water and you'll still be fine. Um, you'd actually have to vigorously work it. But I'm going to I just leave mine and let it soak in. You can see it's already soaking in. It's already gone down a little bit. I just leave it, let it soak it in by itself because I want every 
part of the fiber to get soaked. Sometimes when you just push it under the water, um, there's still air pockets where the water doesn't go. It's amazing how fiber is, um, but I want it to get completely soaked. So I'm going to leave it there and I'll come back in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back and you can see it's fully um, soaked in and it's actually sunk to the bottom of the bowl. Um, and there has been a tiny bit, the water is a little brown. <laughs> so it's definitely worth washing. Um, you can, I can also see, I don't know if you guys, you probably, probably can't see this, but the fiber has really bloomed or puffed up a little bit. So I know that it's fully relaxed. I've also waited until the water has cooled um, and is pretty much just lukewarm. So, um, and I do that just because, again, you don't want to damage the fiber in any way. The, this whole process is just about um, making the fiber bloom and cleaning it up. So, then I grab it and I fold it in half, and then I gently squeeze it. You don't want to twist it. It's just like you're knitting. You don't want to twist it or wring it. You just want to gently squeeze it. And then I'm going to lay it on a towel I have right over here. I'll take this bowl out of the way. What I do then is I lay it between a towel. This is just a towel folded over. And then I'm going to roll it. This is just going to help squeeze any of the excess water out without damaging any of the fibers. There we go. And then it's ready to hang up. Now, um, my spinning instructor told me if you have a lot of twist, this is not doesn't have a lot of twist in it. It's it's um, perfectly balanced. But if you have a lot of twist, if you're a new spinner, she suggested when you hang your um, skein outside to dry, she said to tie. Uh, shoes together so say like um, your running shoes or your sneakers tie the laces together and then um, weight down put one end through so that they hang down and just weight the bottom end of your skein just to help uh, get any of the extra twist out you can do that um, I think it helps a little bit but just remember that um, you know, spinning is, is a journey, and uh, those first skeins of yarn that you do make are really special, and even if they're overly twisted or overly spun, um, they're, they're very special and they're part of your journey, so don't be too hard on yourself. So now I'm going to go hang this out to dry and wash a few more skeins. I'll see you next time. Happy knitting!